What's up everybody, how y'all doing? We are back with some more RuneScape content on this beautiful day. Sorry for the delay on those last videos. Uh, I forgot to push them out and, you know, we sat on them for the weekend, unfortunately. I went on vacation and just never did it, so that's my fault. Starting off with King's Ransom though, 5,000 magic and the access to Knight's Waves training, which was the main reason of doing this, right? So you can unlock, what is it, Piety and... There's another prayer. I don't remember what it is. But essentially, this video is going to be a mix of Achievement Diary stuff and some quests and just random little things happening throughout the video, mainly just focused on diaries. I think my goal here was to get the easy and the mediums completed fully through to, you know, kind of just have a solid progression across the account fully. Um... It's the fun part about RuneScape is there's 900,000 fucking things to do, and it, when you get bored with something else, you can try to progress in another area. It's also the overwhelming part of being here. I, I didn't know what I needed to do for this task, apparently. I, I, I just had to come into the guild. Okay, so we came into the guild. We left the guild, and now we're over here fishing. Uh, I think I got poisoned. Oh, wait, we're not fishing. We're on the island. We're, we're on the island. We had to grapple across to the tree. And then we tried to fish because there's a task to get, uh, what is it? Like, um, what little fish is that? I can't remember the name of the fish. Oh, it says right there on the top left. Look at that. If I just looked at the screen, it would tell me. We got to catch a bass. So, yeah, I tried to do this whole task while poisoned. Unfortunately, I got poisoned while going, uh, into the obelisk there. I don't remember what tunnels I was in. I, I would assume Taverly or... Something like that. But, yeah, you know, we got our bass. We completed that little task. Ooh, bars. And uh, we had to go cook it at a range. I sped all of this up. This is all, like, two to 400% faster as well. So still pretty long clips. Uh, I just, you know, I have all of the footage. I'd, I've been trying to pick and choose what is necessary to include in the series. And I don't want to not include anything. But I also don't want to have a six month long series i feel like a lot of this stuff is very noob content uh, i mean all of it is pretty much noob content minus like the the later quests um and you know i mean a lot, even then a lot of the stuff has been around for so long already that it, it it's not necessarily new to everybody that might be watching a lot of this was new to me just because I, like I said in the past, I never had a membership. I never really left Lumbridge and Varrock and or, um, was that little fighting area in Alcaherd? We used to go there and fight all the time. Alcahard, I don't know how to say it. Um, but either way, those were like my main areas. I never really left there. So this is all like new and fresh to me. I didn't really watch RuneScape content until I started playing super hardcore last year. And uh, now I watch like Oda Block stream and stuff like that. So, I mean, it's definitely progressed into a different level. It's kind of taken over my main game for me. Like I used to play Call of Duty and I used to play Valorant hardcore and that's all I would watch and do. And, you know, this was like kind of a side thing. Every once in a while we'd come get some levels and I, I made a song about dragon armor. So I had to come in and get dragon armor, you know, and make a video on that. Uh, you know, so like... I. It's been a prominent game in my life since, like, 2006, 2007, when I, you know, played a lot. Uh, I don't think I really played before. I think 2006 would have been the earliest I ever played. Um, I could probably go back to look at my account start date, but I'm not going to go do that. It's a little bit too much work. So, it, like, I've played the game quite a bit. I, Not to the professional level or to, like, the actual gamer level. Uh, I think I finally decided on the name for the series. It's going to be from noob to no one, because, like, at the end of the day, none of this really matters. Even if you're somebody like Odablock, like, yeah, he's known for being a streamer, but, like, these pixels mean nothing. Like, he could get banned, and it just means nothing. Like, they're pixels. They mean nothing. We're all nobody at the end of the day, which is kind of like a really dark way of looking at life but there we go we got a fighter torso pretty big drop and uh pretty big a you know achievement for the account that fucking sucked i think it took me like 
I don't know, four, I, I'd say between four and eight hours of playing. Um, getting a solid team was a difficult task. And then, you know, having to do all the different roles and X, Y, and Z if we keep going. But, you know, that, that was just a, it's an experience. If you haven't done it, it's a, it's a fucking experience. So uh, we got the fighter torso. Now we're a real fighter, baby. And we're making progress. But yeah, that, uh, essentially we got a little off topic from what I was saying, which is from noob to nobody. Uh, at the end of the day, we're all nobody. There's so many people in this game that like, it, it doesn't matter what level you play at. Just play at your own level. I think that's a big thing that a lot of the community is like ultra toxic. And I mean, I don't know. I guess there's just trolls everywhere in every game that you go to. But RuneScape is very still... It's got that old, you know, it's in the name. It's got that old school hate and toxicity to it. And there's just a lot of interesting people in the community. So, I mean, myself included, I'm not saying that I'm great. I'm definitely a toxic little asshole. And uh, I could be a better person all around in the game and just in life. But, you know, that's what we're doing. We're all going through it one day at a time, baby. One day at a time. And, uh, oh, we got a little lamp. What are we going to put it in? Slayer, runecrafting. Uh, whoa, agility, brother. What was I doing? We put that into agility? Whoa, okay. Um, I must have been lazy and not wanting to do rooftops or something anymore. But, like, that's wild. <laughs> that should have definitely went into Slayer or one of the other skills that is just boring to do uh that clip lingered a little bit too long i'm sorry we got a little gnome ball score baby yeah shout out them big titty gnomes yeah 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 cheer for me baby <laughs> and uh what was this for i don't know what this was for i really don't oh chompies we did chompies man we haven't done all of them i still need to go back and kill a thousand of them uh and I mean, I guess it's like kind of a guaranteed pet. Like you should get it by the end of that or some, something. I don't really know. There we go. A little Slayer XP lamp. That's what we like to see the XP going to is Slayer. Um, the grind is just so long to do Slayer, man. I just, it's not that I don't want to kill monsters. And I think that's one of the big things is like, I tried PvP and for me, I'm not a PvPer. I'm like very mid at PvM. And I think there's just so much mechanical stuff to this game, Herbler, I respect it, that it, I don't know, there, there's so many different realms you can fall into, so I feel like at this point I'm going to be a noob to nobody because I'm not going to be proficient in PVM, and I'm not going to be proficient in PVP, and I'm not a big content creator or streamer. So like at the end of the day, I'm a nobody, right? So that's kind of like the premise behind it really long way to get to this point but you know add my brain's all over the place this is the end of the video hopefully you all enjoyed i mean pretty good stats overall uh, almost base 60s at this point on the account there so i mean yeah uh hopefully you all enjoyed if you did like share comment subscribe and i will see you next week for more peace